Hey everyone, welcome back to Shunya One, episode one one three in twenty twenty one. In so many months after we released the last episode, in a year which I like have has many definitions, uh, but we have heard versions like a weirdly productive year to versions like the longest weekend ever, uh, where we all sat at home. So. This has been incredible. The fact that we are doing this show live, uh, recording like this on three small screens on our laptops, with varying degrees of hardware and uh, headphones and a bunch of testing, all just to get this thing started. Yet, feeling like it's all natural. Like this is this is life. This is how you meet people now. So <laughs> nothing unusual there. Uh, Except the fact that all this has changed. Welcome it, back. It's so good to you know do this again, Amit. How it, you it, been? It, I've been good, but it's so weird, right? I mean, like so many people started doing podcasts because they couldn't go anywhere else, and we who have had a long-running podcast decided for the last nine months to just sit down and do nothing. So amazing. exactly, exactly. We <laughs> were like, wait, we're, we're contrarian like that. Exactly. We said, we let's see what other people come up with. You know, all the big companies, all the big content folks out there, rest of the world, everyone shot through the roof. Content was king. Video, audio, podcast. Obviously, were, podcasts were mainstream, but they, I think, became even more mainstream over the past nine, ten months. I mean, people. There are podcast companies which are becoming unicorns. Uh, so it's it's a whole new world, clearly. And uh, we just sat by, Amit. Uh, oh, yeah. But, but there's, news. There, there's news. There's news. There's news. Uh, we're back. Even we're for back. you. Even yes, IBM. Yes. IBM is in a new avatar now. Yes, we IBM are. IBM is now part of... Uh, uh, Pratilipi. We've year. been acquired by Pratilipi last year, late last year. So, uh, yeah, we're very excited about how things uh, move ahead from there. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, right? I mean, like, uh, allows us to do a lot of things that we were looking to do. Allows us to kind of really take forays into fiction and those kinds of content, which we hadn't really done earlier. So it's, uh, I'm very excited about what we do as we go forward. Awesome. And this is all about content. And that's why we have another big content entrepreneur. Uh, if there is a phrase like that here as our first guest to kick this off. So welcome to the show, Anirudh. How are you doing? Doing great, Sheila. Big fan of you and Amit. Uh, just telling you guys, I've probably uh, gone through about 50 other Shunim and podcasts. So I've always had like a mini aspiration. I won't hide that to be here. So I'm, uh, no, I'm so glad that we were. I mean, like, you know, we've had such uh, incredible conversations over the last uh, couple of weeks, months, where we've been working on different things. Anirudh's got, uh, or uh, rather not Anirudh, but Pepper Content's been creating their own podcast as well, which is a really uh, good show so far. I think three episodes so far. Yeah, so yeah, we've uh, already had two. So we had okay. you and we had uh, Ashish Chopra from Mexico right. uh, for uh, video marketing. Mm -hmm. Now, but mm -hmm. I think we have a very exciting pipeline of very interesting speakers. So it's called Pepper Spotlight, where we talk about anything, everything content. And I think uh, there's a complete big content ecosystem coming out of India. And uh, we want to be the ones who bring you know, the best people uh, in content at a place where they can talk to creators, marketers, and uh, basically everyone uh, in this whole big world we are in. Yeah, and it, I mean, the whole segue I had thought of was exactly this, right? You know, we sat for 10 months doing not doing this show. Uh, we'll not go there anymore. Why? <laughs> but the fact that content actually became the one thing which almost everyone gravitated towards, right? Because if you can't go out and meet people in the real world, we literally were hooked to our phones, to our television sets, to our, you know, uh, iPads or whatever have you. And we we're trying to consume. We became these consuming people who uh, just needed to fill the void with like video and audio and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of other things like cooking and house plants, which I will not talk about, but content became the major sort of thing, which everyone, uh, you know, realized that they were a big fan of in various formats. So what was your story in these 10 months, Adiru? Then what was the, you know, a genesis of Pepper content even before that? Like, tell us a little bit about of the, of the journey so far. So I think, you know, um, 
I think I can tell you the long version or the TLDR version because it's both a podcast. Have, <laughs> both so, are very interesting. There are some people listening on 1.5 x. I'm sure right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you know, 2017, uh, content was considered as a very unsexy business. I don't know why. Is just you know, creative content. The mag me agency at that time. Soch ke. And you know, techies now, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The thing. Essentially, uh, I like to call content is the next big e-commerce. People say fintech, but still, because I think fintech uh, is for twenty nineteen. Content is twenty twenty one. I guess what was twenty yeah. twenty? We don't want to talk about. <laughs> We don't want to talk about. <laughs> So, uh, Pepper, uh, the genesis of Pepper started in uh, late to 2017. So, uh, just to give you a quick idea, so I started Pepper in Bits Pilani in my second year of college. And a very interesting fact is, I just graduated this year out of college. So I am 21. <laughs> I just look older. I just look older. <laughs> That's it. So I graduated with a degree, hopefully. Uh, We still haven't got a degree at home though, but uh, uh, this this July. So almost been three 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 years now since we're building Pepper. And uh, you know when you when I was in college, uh, see creatives creative professions have always been a secondary or a tertiary or a side hobby or a side hustle uh, for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And you know uh, in 2017, uh, I was an engineer stuck with electrical, not knowing what it means, and uh, knowing not to code in an engineering college. That uh, that mentality, and you know, I was just trying to struggle out, uh, find out what's one good thing that I am at that probably other 900 people in my batch are aren't. And I'm talking Pilani, which is a remote town, six hours away from any mainstream city. Mm-hmm. So you have very limited options. and the only good thing i was able to come up with was writing like i could write well so i used to have this blog of my own where i used to write romantic poetry at the start it evolved wow. into deep prose and uh, you know i decided to start reaching out to these media houses like uh, like hindu toi and all of them and uh, most of them did not respond some which did said we want to see an online repository of your work and i did not have any i did not have any published link so i started uh, like freelancing for this media platform called the indian economist which is like an outsourced network of a lot of people and uh, i wrote this article on raguram rajan which got hit and had about like a million views uh, on the same and that's what kind of catapulted me into content as a person because that's the first time you know i realized okay i can do something other than this so this is summer 2017 like every other kid who wanted a fancy as internship at, at the resume i decided to reach out to all these media houses and your story was the up and cool coming thing then your story was starting to go towards its prime and uh, i reached out to five seven people in your story and uh, for an inter- internship and sadly that was the year your story had internally decided that they won't take any interns because it provided them zero value add <laughs> that a bad experience last time so they did not respond obviously but i kept mailing them every week so five seven people i was sending mails every week for four to five weeks and they got so frustrated finally shraddha said okay you come to bangalore and uh, this is then i this for the first time i went to bangalore and you know very interesting things uh, at that time so this is when you know India was starting to have that freelance economy, wala thing going. More people were turning remote, or uh, turning freelance, and were uh, seriously pursuing this. And content boom, be a raha tha. Mukesh bhai bhi jaag rahe the. Lot of things happening together. And the best part was, uh, so being in Bangalore, I wanted to like live my life, अच्छे से मतलब. And at the same time, I wanted to save up for paying my bits ka fee, जो hmm. ne- next semester ka. So what I used to do is, uh, I used to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I was living in this Bangalore PG. 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. I used to freelance, write, and teach for US-based freelancing platforms. Oh. And then 9 to 4 again your story, and then 5 to 10 again freelancing. 
so no college basic summer vacation na mara jo do dai mahine ka hota hai i thought that's the reason why you are taking uh, you took two years more <laughs> no 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 so this is 20 so i got into college 2016 and left in 20 so char sali the engineering okay. standard so yeah so i did this for two months so i earned 2.5 lakhs out of it the wow. entire thing so tab seek bhi liya mehnat kaise karni hai and what i got a taste of was of understanding customer experience at 50 freelancing platforms mm-hmm. both from a creator lens and from a customer lens and it is fucking broken you yeah. are spending 8 hours yourselves on a freelance platform pricing yourselves ridiculously low plus you are indian which is a very bad experience uh, across those platforms and i realize i'd like to know a little more though about that because yeah. i think that's the part which we know but we don't know the detail of what is broken like essentially like, like i said right you uh, all you all these creators you see on upwork or fiverr who are earning huge amount of money right they're just sitting and doing this mm-hmm. they're bidding for proposals they're creating proposals clients fuck over them quality issues and they don't uh, sometimes they get paid right sometimes they don't and then pricing yourself ridiculously low because there's mm-hmm. already an tested person in the market which has all those ratings the moment right. you make this a game of public ratings right I kind of then hate that fact. This is not meritocracy then. Then it becomes an agency, right? The more famous an agency you go to, the more famous one. Well, I, I because I think like you know the people who come in first, right? There becomes a bias towards that, right? I, I remember yeah. uh, in my previous company, we explored uh, Elon's because we heard the yeah. same kinds of stories, right? That people were making insane amounts of money, right? There were companies yeah. in Chandigarh who were like billing out like you know fifteen uh, twenty crores a year off Elon's. right and so we're like you know this is worth looking at and we should do it but the problem literally became one of you know you don't get anything until you get ratings you don't get ratings until you get something so there's that chicken egg problem so then the you know we got people who approached us saying that hey would you like us to create fake projects for you and then give you good ratings so you can build up your rating stuff and then we'll just move money back and forth and do that kind of thing you pay us oh, behind okay. the scenes and then we'll pay you via uh, elads right mm-hmm. and No, no. I mean, like, it was the fraud. It, was, it, it is fraud. It is fraud, yeah. right? But I mean, like that's the problem with a lot of these freelancing platforms. It's one of the reasons why I've generally been kind of not so keen on using them because I have very low, uh, low trust, right? I've only yeah. used them for like you know silly personal things, right? Like uh, a friend of mine was going abroad, so like you know got a caricature made of him for like ten dollars. You know that kind of stuff. You don't mind like throwing that money away if you have to do it, but not for serious stuff. Yeah, and you know, uh, again, uh, it boils down to. for a creator right if you ask any one of your creator friends uh, who were only into this right they the absolute part they hate about freelancing is dealing with customers payments and all of that mm-hmm. so yeah there if you if you just see that timeline right is this 30 40% of the time where they're doing their actual work again at the cusp of a deadline on top of that essentially it's not yeah. creative work is just yeah. work it's last minute work exactly I, which is also creative work but, but <laughs> yeah for its last minute creative yeah, work but last minute for creative work so wait so that's where we realize right so there has to be a managed play here that's where i had a strong hunch that even more on the customer end it was uh, it was uh, tough dealing with freelancers especially when you were scaling up massive projects or you know you want one person accountability or you don't want to get into it you just want someone to do it for you and that was the best part that agencies used to provide for but then they charge 5x which again was kind of stupid so we 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 felt that you know this on both ends from a customer brand and content marketing spends are going to explode and they did and they're continuing to and the freelancing economy will also scale up very massively more people will turn freelance and you know the last 9 months have probably been a big realization for a lot of people on what they want to do as side pursuits or uh, or passion projects or turn freelance and we've had like a huge creator base come up only with, uh, within the lockdown itself so i think these are two things that led us to starting and one very funny starting story this is 10 10 uh, days prior to our f- final exams of the first semester 
and uh, we have like started base things. Uh, we named it Pepper. Uh, I wrote this first doc on Pepper, which a lot of people ask me why Pepper. And us doc me likha hua hai Pepper until we find a new better name. <laughs> and, it's <laughs> and it's stuck. Yeah. And then I made made up two three stories around you know why Pepper like. Pepper is like the salt and um, that spice to your content. <laughs> so, like a true content person, you yeah. filled it. <laughs> filled so the back. You have to. I can't tell. I can't tell them that probably the inspiration for this might be Avengers or might be just you know just plain. Sure. Oh. Sure. So wait. So we started with that. Ah, uh, so we got this interesting uh, project. Facebook ke groups pe kafi us time. Facebook used to be the thing then mm-hmm. for getting freelance projects, mm-hmm. and uh, there's this one agency who's who wants 250 articles written on automotive content. This is car ke parts ke upar. Wow. And 500 words each. So interesting. Wow. Very interesting, and uh, you know, <laughs> weirdly, wo and industry mein na paisa per word metric hota content mein. कि फाइव रुपीस पर वर्ड वन रुपी पर वर्ड उस टाइम पैसे पर वर्ड होता था अभी रुपी पर वर्ड आ रहा है उस टाइम पैसे होता था तो वी ही आज फॉर अ कोड एंड वी प्राइस आज सेल्स मॉडल एट लिए सेवेंटी फाइव पैसा पर वर्ड जो है कि हाँ इसमें कर लेंगे एंड इसमें मॉडल सिंपल था क्लाइंट से लेना राइटर को देना बहुत उस टाइम बहुत सिंपल था द क्लाइंट सेड आई एम रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन पैसा पर वर्ड ना फिफ्टीन पैसा पर वर्ड पे कोई फ्रीलांसर तुम्हें गाली भी देगा एंड वो लेगा भी नहीं सो दिस इज लाइक द इंडस्ट्री बॉटम ऑफ इट बट आई वांटेड स्टैटिस्टिकल वैलिडेशन बिफोर आई वेंट टू माय नेक्स्ट कस्टमर यू नो वी हैव डन 250 कस्टमर्स वी आर नॉट जस्ट कॉलेज किड्स ऑल ऑफ दैट या एंड वी डिसाइडेड टू डू इट आवरसेल्फ्स सो एवरी वी डिसाइडेड टू राइट इट योरसेल्फ वी डिसाइडेड टू राइट सो वी आर फोर ऑफ अस वी डिसाइडेड टू राइट 250 आर्टिकल्स 10 डेज बिफोर आवर एग्जाम्स 500 वर्ड्स ईच ऑन कार पार्ट्स वेयर वी हैव टू रिसर्च एंड स्टफ 9 a.m. We used to sit right. 9 p.m. We used to sit writing. What kind of engineers were you? We were electrical engineers, <laughs> so to say. Uh, I still don't understand anything of that. Uh, we used to work till 5 a.m. We used to sleep three hours, and 8 a.m. We had to, we had this daily test, which we used to flunk up, and then we used to then go back to sleep. Was that? So this this happened, and we were able to complete this nine within nine days, just one day before our final exam. and th- th- then went my downgrade of my cg which just <laughs> you know, like i th- i remember uh, i had become so kind of in some sense fuckless about acads that there was got ka last episode that premiered in my pre final in my final year and i had my exam at 9 am and mere 5 minute bache the us episode ke and that was the most <laughs> I went to the exam hall. I wrote the paper for seven or eight minutes. I came back. I watched those five minutes, and then I went. <laughs> It just becomes so. So yeah, I think from there to I'll just quickly get you to where we are. Uh, so so far, thirty-five thousand freelancers have applied to be part of Pepper, of which we work with the top ten percent talent. It's a very high quality curated pool. We have writers from Economic Times, Mint, Wall Street Journal, New York Times. who are also uh, writing columns there writing for us so we have professors from iit bits all premier institutes also writing for us and a lot of professionals also so essentially uh, it's not just you know say students that comes into mind when you think of freelancing platforms but professionals who are doing it both for money side income as well as uh, passion like there's this uh, one person who's uh, Who's good enough packed up is uh, was like a chief digital officer at like Kotak and all of these banks. Just wants to explore writing. Just they just love it and uh, is one of our like very uh, consistent creators. And uh, so far since our inception, we've been able to create earnings about four point five crores for all these creators. Oh. And this is you know uh, and here we have a very meritocratic system at Pepper. a creator does just has to qualify to become part of our network and if we find a relevant thing based on their industry specific or their language or their content vertical whether they are a pr writer or a copywriter or an ad script writer you get the assignment yourself so we don't charge creators any fee okay whatever we charge is on the top of what the creator gets 
and whatever we decide with the creator is a pre-negotiated price, mutually decided upon. And it's in some sense like Uber also, where the creator has the choice to accept or reject an assignment. Okay. So depends on their time and all of that. And uh, you know, there's been people in our creator network who earn 1.5 two lakhs per month from us. Five six people consistently. Hmm. Some people have left their job just to kind of write for us, and that's oddly scary as well as very heartening to see that uh, you know people trust us with that network. And uh, for us, on the other side, uh, we have about five hundred plus brands we are working currently with. So we work with companies like Facebook, Cred, Amazon, Swiggy, Adobe, Cipla, HP. Uh, and who's who of the startup ecosystem yeah uh like right now we are onboarding 100 brands in wow. a in a one month frequency that's the speed at which we are right now at and wow. uh, i think it's i think it's been insane that way we've we've done about 120000 uh, content pieces okay. so far uh through peppers platform so we kind of started like in some sense like a service agency not realizing what an agency actually means because we were engineering students didn't understand the entire ecosystem but probably over time what we realized is you know how can we treat this entire problem at scale hmm. if you still go to companies content still being created the very primitive way google docs google sheets mail hmm. whatsapp it's very clunky and we are coming at a point of time where you know contents massively booming up people don't have time to get things done or they want to scale up content very fast right. they don't have the resources i think pepper there provides a very beautiful on demand content platform you see 2 3 years on the line uh, earlier we wouldn't have thought of say urban clap productizing a thing like cutting hair and now yeah. when you go through it right it's such a surreal experience you think about yeah. how, how could they productize this and i think similar is the similar thing is what we are doing with content where we are not productizing content from ki humne ai generated content abhi immediate ye pitch nahi hai we are productizing the workflow in which content is created so essentially uh, the product that uh, we uh, that we've been working on and uh, all our customers are already on it what we're releasing it to the world in the next one two months essentially is a content operations platform that productizes the way a customer gives an order to the creator in a very structured manner how it gets assigned to the creator they get that content done it then goes to a qc person who again is a remote freelancer who qc is that content as per the guideline and it goes back to the customer now we've successfully productized this cycle which currently allows us to scale up content volume to any wo currently mm-hmm. pepper is roughly doing you know 300 400 content pieces a day and wow. right now because of this productization we have a capacity to to go, to go roughly 6 to 7000 content pieces a day without me having to double my team nice. so uh, normally in a talent marketplace you would have thought of ki it's a ops heavy business yeah. uh, we are just touching a team of 50 people i have three people in my operations team for the past 6 wow. to 7 months so that's what we have built as a moat which is operational scalability now now what we are doing in general over time right is is essentially productizing content from a very on the on demand experience so just i i like i love to highlight like two three use cases sure. um see going forward can you order like when you book an uber ride expecting they come in 5 minutes can you order content on demand can you order say a transcription of this blog and can it get to you within the next 3 to 4 hours after you've given them the recording and whatever whatever is needed and can you get it translated in 50 languages without approaching 50 different people or multiple agencies and get those entire recordings translated within say one or two days and eventually can you get these uh, translations converted into say miniature videos or instagram ads or whatever through one platform essentially what i'm saying is content has massive use cases and i am talking content on demand yeah. like i can see a visibility ki a frustrated manager who isn't getting time to make a presentation can come to pepper and get the presentation done in the next 4 to 5 <laughs> i'll put my hand up too <laughs> yes and just get that going because you have on demand help with 
talented people, very high quality, trusted. So you trust the quality of our marketplace, right. and we assign the best fit person. And you know, uh, some very funny things. Uh, uh, that a very interesting use cases that we're thinking of is there's a Google Docs mm-hmm. and there's a Chrome extension. And if you click on that, just pepper your content. And suddenly you there's a form or something of that sort that comes. Ki, hey, when do you need this? And when do you need it by? And what are the varying degrees of collaborators you would need to come? Would you need a infographic person? Would you need a copywriter and all of that? And they and the Google Doc link gets shared with them, and they start creating yeah. content on that platform. Yeah. So one interesting use case was that you know uh, someone wants to write a resignation letter, and no one wants to write a two hour, three hour long resignation letter. Can you get someone to do it for you? <laughs> it's essentially wow. that kind of, and and you know uh, that that's the kind of use case we are going towards. In fact, uh, one very interesting thing is a lot of CXOs, founders, uh, see uh, contents become a very big. Brand identity mm-hmm. for an individual also, yeah. and all of us on tech Twitter understand that. So a lot of yeah. people you won't realize who you follow get most of their content done ghostwriting through yeah. their brand mark on teams, and people are paying us to write their Twitter and LinkedIn content. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I guess that's already that's happening. That's happening over a year now. <laughs> no, I can see. I can absolutely see it. I mean, I get so yeah. much, so many requests to write articles, and honestly, I mean, like you know, I'll, I can write. I can write five or six or ten a year, right? I can't write like you know. I I, I probably get like three requests a month to write. Uh, can you write an op- uh, a thing for our website, or can you write something about the podcasting space? And this, I get a lot of. This would be great, actually, as a way to kind of expand. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be like, yeah. you know, I can give an outline. I can give stuff like that and then kind of. So it's semi ghostwritten, I guess, in that sense. Exactly. And from, you know, uh, and how it big, how big it gets is, you know, when uh, when I met the first VC uh, ever uh, in our entire entrepreneurial journey, their always biggest fundamental questions were, ki, you know, how does this become a billion dollar company content hai, kya hai, and all of that. You know, today no one dares asking me that because the market is so huge from a content lens, and and, and the beauty of how we're thinking about it is not just an individual and an SME level. Essentially, this on-demand experience is for people who can't afford to have content teams and or don't have the time, energy, and short-term demands. Are. But from a long-term framework, what we're thinking is, you know, uh, if you use HubSpot. Right, HubSpot's anything for but for inbound marketing. What we are building from an enterprise lens going forward is a uh, HubSpot, but uh, is something like HubSpot but for content marketing. So essentially, what we are saying is, as content scales up, right, you need to manage content at one place. So what we are doing is we are creating like this one big module where say you can strategize content at one place. Now we are using technologies like GB3. To suggest and recommend what you should create content on, like oh. for example, uh, one very interesting tool we are releasing um, over the next two weeks, and I'd love to share with you guys is Pepper Type, which is essentially GPT generated content for say your Google Ads or your social media captions, hmm. and we're also making one for podcast suggestions. So essentially, <laughs> you know what, what your next will be on, and we'll analyze. Over time, you know what's your trend been like, hmm. and then generate those suggestions for you. So stuff like that. As that's why we're starting with you as the first guest. <laughs> in this season. You'll no, tell no, us which guest to get next. I, I'll get you the demo first, then, and uh, then there's this entire workflow management thing where you know you can get your entire team and organize content for once. Right. It's because her CMO ko visibility chahiye. Ki hmm. kya chal raha hai, kitna yeah. chal raha content and all. And this is a tool they would work pay for, and then even I would kill for that start. tool internally. Forget externally. Like yeah. you know, even and for the internal team to have something like that, which gives yeah. that kind of this would be amazing for us. Exactly, and publishing also. So you publish content. So right now you're probably paying Buffer or Hootsuite mm-hmm. for scheduling yeah. your posts and all of that. Do that from Pepper. So essentially, that one full stacking and leverage analytics on top of it. <laughs> and now this is not just a salsa platform. What's the cherry on the top is the talent marketplace integration we have. So essentially, our long term thesis is we want to build a remote content team for any kind of setup. Yeah. So our thesis is, yeah, instead of you going to ten agencies, so the next time, say we go to a Nike and we tell them that 
अभी अगर नॉर्मल पेपर जाके हम बोलते हैं कि हमारे पास बेस्ट कॉपी राइटर्स इन द वर्ल्ड दिल से कि अभी प्रॉब्लली कैन अफोर्ड इट वी डोंट नीड इट बट इफ आई गो टू नाइकी विद दिस प्रोपोजिशन टेल देम कि सी यू कैन मैनेज योर कंटेंट बेटर एंड यू हैव अ टैलेंट मार्केट बेस्ड इंटीग्रेशन सो द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू आर एक्सपेंडिंग इन 50 कंट्रीज यू वांट टू ट्रांसलेट कंटेंट इन 50 लैंग्वेजेस डोंट गो टू 50 पीपल गो टू पेपर दिस इज अ टैलेंट इंटीग्रेशन यू जस्ट पुट इन दोस पीपल बिकम योर रिमोट वर्चुअल टीम दे कैन कोलैबोरेट विद योर टीम थ्रू टूल्स ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म सो वी प्रोबेबली इंटीग्रेट टूल्स लाइक कैनवा yeah uh, and uh, adobe and all these tools on the platform that facilitate content creation to be faster mm-hmm. and this is a very this is a very strong collaboration suite of sorts that gets built in and you're just getting content done and moving on and these are high quality creators so that's, and we're paying us for that no that's phenomenal you, actually i'm thinking about uh, sorry sure, uh, but, but i'm just thinking about like you know what are the tools we use right now for content collaboration for creation yeah. of con- around content collaboration right and none of them are geared towards it right everything is a little bit of a hack right we use slack we use trello uh we use a lot of google docs and stuff like that we use a lot of calendars uh calendaring they're all hacks for things which are more traditional productivity applications and we're kind of making them work for us but something which is geared towards the idea because you know you have an episode uh, in our case we have an episode an episode has a certain amount of social media collateral that needs to be done an episode has a certain amount of artwork that needs to be done an episode has a certain amount of content editing that needs to be done it has a certain amount of audio video etc etc right and there's no central way for us to do this we're using a whole bunch of different things to kind of just you know make it work and this would be incre- so it's not just uh, you know it's not just brand to uh, A freelancer there's a larger uh, or yeah, they, tech play yeah tech play of this is actually where you become a you know like exactly. yeah. obviously like a, a proper enterprise or a platform company right and i think that's exactly. what you've that's what that's you what really cracked here i mean I th- that's where the engineer in you has come out <laughs> because the the original poet and shairi writing guy is the marketplace and freelance person but the engineer in you caught up saying that this needs to be a platform clearly no definitely and you know uh, i think that that's the beauty of it because uh 5 years 7 years down the line we have very one simple aspiration we want to become the world's largest content production and distribution platform so essentially any content that's probably being created in the world right uh, by teams by individuals by creators in fact you know influencers uh, on instagram that we love following would are also prospective customers for this because they're creating so much massive content yeah. across different spectrums and you know when you start to think of it we just think we're sitting on the tip of the iceberg because right now we're just doing content creation which is though a big problem but the next next big cycle is content marketing so eventually can we also then go into distribution so and that's where become things become interesting so probably once we create that content then adding that influencer layer in front of it or the pr yeah. layer how do you amplify it basically yeah so if you ask me uh, i would though i wouldn't want to put it directly like this but in some sense we're also going after agencies you are no i mean you are you. you're just an agency with a better tech with better tech I wouldn't even say agency because the moment the the moment you put this term agency right, उसने लोग अंदर बिठा रखे हैं. For me, Correct. there is you don't have no cost, no cost. Everything is remote. In my team of fifty people, I have no writer. Right. Like we are writers in our yeah. own self, but. About automobile like parts, that. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is disintermediation, right? I mean, like no matter how you're, yeah. you you are get you are basically taking over the functions that they're doing by giving a more technically savvy solution, right? Yeah. Where because. Yeah. yeah, I mean, working with agencies right now, you know, I mean, like uh, they're my best friends because they get us what little advertising we have. But having said that, there are some frustrations, right? and it's oh, also definitely. it's also the collaboration piece which i like of yeah. you know workflow automation you use that oh, word and i wanted to you know ask you one more about it like why do you think that was not solved because it's not that it's a new problem right so, so. you know uh, very interesting uh, because the first two years of our lives were you know we were managing all of we, we were doing 10000 content pieces in an entire journey so far we were doing that on sheets Mm-hmm. google doc and when you are a uh, you, when you see that scale right and you are still doing it primitively on sheets and docs that's where you realize what are elements that can be productized mm-hmm. 
तो इफ यू इफ इफ द बेस्ट थिंग ऑफ अस बिल्डिंग डूइंग अ सर्विसेज बिजनेस फर्स्ट बिफोर प्रोडक्टाइजिंग इट वाज दैट वी वर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी निटिलिटी निटिग्रिटी मोर ऑफ एंड देन नॉट पीपल अप्रोच दिस एज अ प्रोडक्ट प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट तो वो पहले सोचेंगे प्रोडक्ट बनाते हैं before them having actually okay. to do that service process in play so i think that's what our age was and that's why we were able to do it well so we've done that successful successfully for text uh, this year we're doing it for design also plan is to go into video also uh, over the next uh, wow. year and types and uh, yeah I, i see a huge potential because both fiber and upwork right ab wo dimag mein unka brand imaging aa chuka hai ki ha yaar wo kind of is just too much headache to get that done yeah. so maybe just use pepper is just on demand jaldi let's move forward so uh, as you grow right and as you scale your supply sub, uh, supply side particularly right yeah. how do you avoid the same problems that an apoco fiber have had yeah. which is this race to the bottom right how how, yeah. how do you kind of manage that so very interesting amit and you know that's where uh, our approach as a platform of being creator first comes in hmm. so you see hamara jo pepper work wala product hai uh is me we are still working with the top 10% talent it's a very high quality curated pool and personally uh even though that's essential for our business to scale because we are working with such big enterprises and quality is important mm-hmm. firstly i don't want to make this jay mm-hmm. ki you are you know having 100000 people and then just choosing 10000 people it's stupid probably do not that so what we are doing is with building products for freelancers also Good. So, but sorry, sorry. I think your uh, audio just went out. Yeah. 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 Batteries broke down. The battery broke down. Okay. Uh, this is making a big difference in sound, though. Yeah. Uh, so let's just make the excuse now that my battery has gone out. Like in the thing only. Now, can can you just say that that hey, it looks like my batteries have gone. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to and then continue after that. Yeah. You're on mute, huh? Yeah. You're on mute, Anurud. Yeah, now it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, great. Oh, sorry. Hey, my battery just broke down. So you might notice some voice difference. Yeah. So what I was saying is, uh, you know, what we're now doing is building tools that also help creators in their workflows. So essentially, we've workflow automation nail cut liya. How you take an order and all of that. And freelancers are still also doing docs, sheets, mails, clunky. Ah, uh, tarikos they're doing and invoicing and payments is a big issue for them also. Yeah. On the line. So, Elections, I'm sure. Yeah. So what we realize is because we have an internal product for the end, and we know in our work platform, we can't have all the writers or all freelancers as part of it. We're creating a side product. Uh, we're thinking of naming it as Pepper Workspace or a Creator Toolkit, where they can get on this platform and manage their exit. Because those clients, every freelancer will have 10 clients, who will not be in Pepper, but who will be individual. Honge. and they have a very structured way of getting content done work done they have tools on the platform we'll think of probably a freemium model around that or a transactional billing thing right over time and this starts to form you know those value adds in the lives of creators and uh, one uh, kind of ambitious project we're picking up with it is uh, called pepper varsity where we're thinking of you know upskilling creators wow at scale so people like me who had who were told to get online ex- like who had no formal experience understanding this so aap you see upgrad today right upgrad partner kar rahe hain bade bade institutes ka ml ki degree ke liye par journalism ki degree ke liye kuch nahi ho raha hmm. those people are still old school uh, or digital media or how to become a tiktok creator or how to become an instagram creator or and then you get you know uh, i won't say master class type people also but people who are actually good at it Uh, who are actually good at training people from the start, and it becomes like a one-on-one guide. And being the best teacher, yeah. sort of. A- exactly, and the best thing is because we have a pepper work platform. So as a creator, say I probably start, uh, you know, taking through these courses, and uh, it, it can be subscription economy also. I can also pay like five dollars to the person who's uh, teaching this, and post that probably get a gig from pepper's work platform. Yeah. Yeah, as a full spectrum like, of essentially so yeah. how i am thinking of building this company is from an ecosystem lens because it deserves that and probably no one's thinking deeper dive into you know uh, that creator model 
अभी इवन इफ यू सी ऑल दीज बिग प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक टिकटॉक था एंड जितने भी ये सारे प्लेटफॉर्म आ रहे हैं इस टाइप के फॉर देम क्रिएटर्स आर जस्ट टूल्स टू एम्पलीफाई देयर ओन इंटरनल रीच देयर एम एज देयर डी एज बट फ्रॉम अ लेंस फॉर अ पर्सन हु नीड्स दैट इन सम सेंस आई से फॉर्मल एजुकेशन बिकॉज इट्स बिकम लाइक मेन सीन प्रोफेशन नाउ to get started in that i think that's a big thing we are setting on and honestly you know uh, our entire thing about anything everything content that's why it makes sense and that's why you see amit are starting a podcast uh, so that these are micro little content properties are of our own that eventually will now become part of pepper varsity uh, this year line and uh, plan is to build something the scale of hubspot again uh, shila you being in the space you understand that content marketing because we understand content so well so we want to do something like this out of india and i think that's the aspiration right to uh, build for the globe from india that's brilliant that's brilliant and build from for not just for the globe for india also and for the yeah also and the globe obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. i think that's the that's the flavor of the season and that, that's the new direction for all sas is what yeah. i uh, also th- keep saying so this is amazing and the fact that you've Done this clearly while hopefully graduating, like you said, is 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 amazing. So it shows the fact that you're clearly passionate about what you're trying to build here. And uh, I think the tech angle, uh, along with this marketplace, and given that you are, I'm guessing, also generating revenue for the company. Yeah. yeah. So, so unlike. another you're not a vc fundable business you're literally you're making money no no so it's not funded we are vc funded though but irrespective uh, we just touch a million dollars in annual revenue uh, run rate and uh, we'll be looking at a 4x 5x over this year because uh, yeah like we were uh, revenue generating from day one wo correct 250 article ka 16500 rupees was the first money that we got so we didn't put in any seed money in pepper so it's been revenue generating from the very start and uh, then you know we we raised a seed round we raised about 2.2 cr back in november last year 2019 not last year like 2020 but uh, and then we raised a uh, round from lightspeed uh, yeah. we got a bunch of fantastic angels so in fact uh, i convinced uh, the appa founder uh, birut shet to also invest in our round <laughs> and then we have uh, people like balaji shrinivasan uh, coinbase cto he is a big proponent of media companies yeah. and scaling and uh, gorav munjal and uh, mitin sampath akrit couple of other folks also mm-hmm. and uh, yeah one i think one uh, side case was i wanted it to be a vc fundable business because the space is big i i think not saying no taking vc money and all of that but in general right that scalability approach that people thought it's the space is missing is there and we're there to prove them wrong creative there there is a fintech there is an edtech there is going to be a contech uh, content tech in some sense yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is which is not just daus maus and all of that but you know very strong businesses built on foundation which is also empowering creators at the same times also able to make value for you know its customers like brands and all of that I mean, I think you've coined the term well. So, content tech is definitely flavor of 2021. Uh, Anirudh, this is this has been great. I think uh, you know we're all going to see a lot more of you know what Pepper is up to uh, over the course of this year. Clearly, you are getting into every format of content as it is. Uh, what do you want to do? A shout out to like what where folks can reach you, uh, yeah, to connect with you and. So, you know, uh, if you're hiring, yeah, yeah. So I, I am fairly active on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. So I respond to most of my messages there, and uh, you can reach out to me at Anirudh at PepperContent dot in. I respond to most of my emails. Uh, I do always respond to external emails and not my internal emails. So <laughs> great, getting a lot of flack from my team now. But uh, I think you know teams also grown to be grown to about fifty people now, and uh, now you know. Uh, Great thing you allowed me to do this hiring shout out. So we're plan, uh, we're looking to uh, hire our first head of engineering, and uh, we are in Bombay. Big job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all remote now. So, yeah, remote. no, but uh, we'd probably want you know this person to be in with us in Bombay. Uh, slightly critical, slightly narrow-minded that way, but 
<laughs> even though we are running a remote company based on remote platforms so it's slightly ironical on that but yeah so we're looking for a head of engineering and yeah just reach out to me at any point would love to uh, talk about this this is awesome no we it even in 2021 we still talk about bombay engineering so that's a you good know, point so shila you know one thing i love is uh, about me in some senses i really want to convince people who have a very strong notion against a certain or have a certain bias against things and probably prove them wrong so for me clever tap webbing age topper all these companies i really want us to kind of beat down on those bangalore people <laughs> looking <laughs> upon us so i really want to build in some sense i i could say one aspiration goal for building pepper to be so huge is probably in some sense creating a tech influence wapas to making bombay also a city so a lot of vcs and everyone tell me yaar why not move to bangalore and all of that and i just can't get out of bombay no, no, no. i love no, no. the city in general and i think it's time we should kind of start you you are the you are at the right juxtaposition of content and tech that you have to be in yes. bombay uh, no i think but we need to start this moment of sorts jaise ami mein ho raha hai come back to bombay types Absolutely. We do. Absolutely, we do. We do. We do. This was this was awesome. This is, I think, uh, it's so great to hear the story, Anirudh, and of course, it's so great to have the show back with you here, uh, kicking this off. And uh, of course, I'm sure we'll uh, folks will be, uh, you know, a lot more interested to hear, uh, see what you guys are building over the course of the year. So it's it's a it's great to hear, and congratulations on all the success, and wish you a lot more. Thank you for being on this show. Thank you for getting us back, and we'll listen to your podcast too. Uh, you want to do a link to that? Uh, we'll put it in our in our notes that's in the in the uh, you know in the show reel. So that's it. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Shunya one again.